Hi there. I thought it might be easier if we took a look at an example of an annotated bibliography so you could get an idea of what it's supposed to look like. This is from Emma Hardy from last year, one of her annotated bibs. So first what you need to do is pick a topic and you need to write a thesis about that topic, which she did right here quite well. And then you take your five sources that are related to the topic and you research and annotate them. So here's her first, and she's got the bibliography information here. And then she gets into a brief summary in the first paragraph, how the um, essay or the resource would help in her paper, and then whether a reflection on it, on whether or not it would be um, what she thinks about the actual source itself. So you have three parts under each source. You have a summary, then you have a, um, a, a uh, evaluation of how it would work for your um, source, and then you have your overall thoughts about the source itself, a reflection. I hope that gives you a good insight into what your annotated bib should look like. Just as a reminder, you should have five sources, and two of those sources should be from a um, JSTOR article, a peer-reviewed article, and then the other two, another two could be from like the Atlantic or Scientific American, things like that. And then the last one, the fifth one, can be um, from anywhere your choice. Okay, so that's what, what I have for you, and you just let me know if you have any more questions or uh, need any more help. Take care.